All right, so you've unlocked your phone, you have bars of service, you can make calls, you can receive calls, you can receive text messages, but you go to send texts and it fails each time, like so. It uh, gets to the end and then at the very end, it decides to tell you that it's failed. Um, anyways, if you have the proper 128K SIM card like I do, uh, all you have to do is turn off your phone and turn it back on and it should properly uh, work once it's rebooted. Now, essentially what's happening is right now this phone, since it's originally a Sprint phone, has an SMSC number by default that routes its text messages to Sprint's towers. When you unlock it for T-Mobile or any other type of uh, SIM carrier, then it's, it's supposed to automatically copy over the SMSC number from your SIM card to phone. Therefore, it'll try to send it to T-Mobile's SIM tower instead of instead of Sprint's. Now, in this case, sometimes you pop it in and it just doesn't copy over for whatever reason. So if you turn your phone off and then you turn it back on, give it another opportunity to recopy. Now, if your SIM card, if you take a look at it and it looks like this, it's a 128K, but it's got this football shape with the dot at the top. These ones are absolutely infamous for not copying over that SMSC number and you may have to enter that in manually. Uh, I do recommend before anything though that you uh, make an appointment to go into your T-Mobile store and get the proper 128k that I showed you at the beginning of the video. Um, these ones for whatever reason if you're having the same issue and you're looking at your SIM card and you're seeing that it's the exact same one uh, that's the reason why that SMSC number for whatever reason when you unlock it for 5.1.1 just doesn't transfer over to avoid that altogether just go and get the right SIM card uh, but first again try rebooting it and see if that works for you and then uh, let's see let's go into the phone here and we'll see if we can send a text as soon as this uh, as soon as this allows us to we'll give it just a moment as you can see, I've sent tons and tons of text trying to get it to work, and it just won't. Sometimes you have to reboot it. There's actually a process. It's a pretty cool process that actually allows you to see what SMSC number it's trying to route it to. And then it also gives you a, a, an opportunity to um, actually copy over a new SMSC number by default. Um, I'll go ahead and show you that as soon as we try this out here real quick. Um, but let's see if we can send a text now. All right, so as you can see, it went ahead and sent a text message. We didn't have any issues. All I did was rebooted it, and it worked. Um, if you reboot it a few times and you can't get it to work, then you may need to go in and edit your SMSC number. Let's go ahead and take a look now. T-Mobile's original SMSC number starts with a zero two, or excuse me, a one two zero six. So let's see what that sh what it shows here. The way that you check is you go into your dialer and you dial star, and then you dial pound five zero zero five. Then you're going to do another star, then you're going to type in 7672, and then pound, just like this. Once your screen looks like mine, go ahead and hit call, and it will tell you what SMS number or SMSC number it's trying to route it through. This one right here, we know the uh, plus 12063130004 is T Mobile's. Um, if you're getting a plus 7, that's the wrong one. So you're going to go have to go ahead and edit it. And the way that we do that is by uh, typing in star star 5005 just like before. So star star 5005 and then star again and then we're going to do seven whoops 7672 like before and then we'll do a star here and then you're going to type in the SMS number the SMSC number that you want to copy over. Um, so we're going to do 1206 313 whoops Let's try that again. Don't hit call. <laughs> okay, so uh, two one two zero six three one three zero 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 four, and then you're going to do pound again. So it looks like this. Now once you have that in and it looks just like my screen, then you go ahead and hit call again. Now you'll see it says setting succeeded service center address no address. This means that it properly copied over that um, the SMSC number and you should be able to send text messages now. Sometimes it does take a minute for text messages to kick in and start working, um, but it should and uh, this is actually just kind of a temporary t uh, fix because your phone won't always um, try and send through this uh, SMSC number. It will try to go back to default. Um, sometimes it'll last for a day or two and then it will go back. So just use this as kind of a temporary way of sending text messages um, until you can go in and get a new SIM card. Again, don't get one that looks like this. Get one that looks like, 
Uh, let me go ahead and pop this out for you. Get one that looks like this. So you've got the 